Welcome back. When most people purchase a home, they don't pay cash. They have to need to go out and get some financing. However, not everyone's financing needs are the same. So today, Tom Hoglum, a real estate agent with Berkshire Hathaway Home Services Premier Properties, and Brenda Hoglum, a mortgage loan officer at Northwestern, are here today to explain the mortgages and the importance of finding the right one for you. To both, thanks so much for being here. It's great to have you Thank with you. us. So when one person wants to get started by a home, where do we start when it comes to the mortgage situation? Well, um, the, the, the financing professionals uh, at lenders are, when lenders are very good. When we represent our buyer clients, uh, we try to assist them, obviously, in trying to find the right house, uh, along with finding the right features, the right location, uh, the right size. It's also a very important aspect to have the right price. <laughs> and as you mentioned, uh, not everyone can afford to buy a house with cash. So financing becomes a very important part, very important aspect of buying, buying the right house. Uh, also note that one size does not fit all as far as financing goes. Uh, the, as you can imagine, the financing needs for a uh, first-time home buyer is going to be greatly different than someone that wants to downsize. So, Brent, let's talk about that. You mentioned a few different options there. What are some of the more popular options when it comes to financing? Uh, the most popular mortgage options that people typically seek out are going to be, of course, your conventional mortgages, which is kind of the mainstream go-to. Um, however, there are some good government loans out there, too. USDA, VA, FHA, and those tend to be a little bit more lenient when it comes to debt-to-income ratios and credit scores. So you can see where those are popular. But just for clarity, like when you say conventional, can you tell us what that means specifically? Yeah. Can, can, in what I like to think of conventional cookie cutter, you know, it's it's going to be a, you have a great credit score. It's on a single family residence. Um, the debt to income ratios, everything's looking really cookie cutter by the book and easy to work with. Um, but as I mentioned, there's other loan programs out there for maybe folks who aren't in that exact parameter. Yeah. What are some other options and how do you know how to fit them into the right Place. Well, there's a lot. How much time do we have? Um, there, as much as you need. Yeah, there, we could go on all day, but it's interesting. There's certain things that can definitely affect what's the right mortgage for people. It could be the type of property they're buying. Um, it could be their situation. Um, it could be even their age. So regarding property type, um, mm -hmm. you've got manufactured home financing available. Um, you've got condominium financing options available. You've got construction options. You wow. even have shouses, the fancy sheds that have living quarters uh. in them. Shouse, shed house, <laughs> shouse. Those are becoming more and more popular. So there's unique <laughs> programs at different lenders with those property types. Also, you have situations. Maybe somebody's looking at a higher valued home thus a higher balance of mortgage. So yeah. they may be looking at jumbo mortgage options. You've got your first time home buyers. There's plenty of options available to those folks. Age, as I mentioned, you've got folks who are 62 and older who may be looking to purchase a new home. They can put down a nice down payment and then have no principal and interest payment through a nice. reverse mortgage. So yeah, it all depends. And like I said, I could go on all day, but at the end of the day, what folks need to know is it's all going to be up to your situation and what's the right mortgage. So it's important to do your research, um, educate yourself, and know that not all lenders are the same. It's good yeah. to seek out some advice. And a great resource would be your real estate professional because they work with numerous lenders in town. So they have that experience under so, their belt. Tom, i got about 30 seconds. you got 30 years of experience plus. Yeah. Anything else you want to add, sir? Well, just that, that it's very important early on in the house buying process that you go in and visit with a lender so you can determine uh, based on what kind of house you want and the price range, what kind of loan is going to work out best for you. Uh, and again, keep in mind that not every kind of financing is going to work for everyone. Right. Fortunately, we have a wide variety of financial uh, possibilities in our market. And here's their contact information so you can reach out to them very easily. And the Fed's cut rates yesterday, so it might be a good time to reach out to both of them. To both of you, thanks so much for being here. We Thank you very it. much. All right, stick around. we got much more coming up right here on North Dakota Today.